Hello, I'm Laurel Hanlon with Five Star Performance Horses. This is Peter, and today we're going to work on in-hand trail. The first lesson is going to be so very basic. It's going to be stop and go. And to start that, I'm going to have a basic halter and a lead rope. No chain yet. I just want to make sure that your yearling knows the very basic aspect of in-hand trail. So let's get started. As a very basic in-hand trail, or with any horse, any yearling, they need to know how to walk and stop when you ask. So I'm going to get into the walking position, and when my hand goes forward, they don't necessarily need to move, but they understand I'm about to change something. I'm warning them so they understand I'm about to move. But when I move my hand forward and clock, I move, and they understand they need to as well. Whoa. When I say whoa, they need to stop exactly with me. We can't have yearlings walking ahead of you, stopping behind you. You don't need to be dragging them. They don't need to curve their body as out. They need to stay right in line with me, and they need to stop when I'm in line with me. In that aspect, it's a lot like showmanship, and this is the foundation. We're going to start with just a few examples here, so you kind of get a better understanding of what we're doing. So I'm going to ask him to go forward. I haven't clocked yet, so he doesn't need to move. Now he needs to move. When I clock, I start walking. If he's not ready, he needs to be. So it teaches him to start really listening to me. Whoa. Good. He needs to stop moving his feet when I do. Much better. So it's a little bit of a warm-up. Be a little patient with it, and they will get it. Also, I don't want to drag them. When I'm dragging them, it's a lot more work for me, and it's teaching them to be resistive. So make sure you reward them when they're not pulling on you. Whoa. Try not to look at your horse. I know it's really easy to do, but you're giving them all the power. So when you're not looking at them, they're looking to you for that support. But when you look at them, you're telling, well, I'm not real sure of what I'm doing, so I'm looking for you for advice. I know it's hard, and it's a good habit to get into. Just look forward, move the hand, and walk off. And if they're not ready, they can run into the end of the chain when we switch them. For now, they're just getting used to walking and stopping when I ask. You feel free to cluck to them if they're pulling on you a little bit, because they need to understand that means move my feet faster. And it's kind of hard because he's on the outside. He has to walk a little bit faster than I do. Whoa. Now, he's being really good about stopping, but in case they aren't, feel free to back up a step or two. Let me show you. Whoa. So I'm going to pull him back like this. I'm not looking at him. Just a few steps. I'm not being harsh about it. I just want to back him up a few steps so he understands Whoa, you're going way too far forward. So let me show you again. Whoa. See how crisp that was? It doesn't take much, but if it does, you have to stick with it. You can't let them get away with walking ahead of you one time and then getting in trouble the next time. Consistency is key, especially with yearlings when they're learning so much. The same thing applies for jogging up. We'll start easy. We're going to walk a few steps and then ask for a job. Now, when you're first teaching it, you have to be so patient. They're not going to understand what you're asking, but when they do, only expect to get one or two steps, stop, and praise them like there's no tomorrow. And then ask again for two steps. Don't expect them to jog the whole lap with you at the first time. So let's get started. I'm going to show you what I mean and get going. So I've asked for the walk, all right? And with the in-hand trail, some people kiss to their yearlings to get a job, but I still just clutch because it's easier transition when they turn two or three and they're under saddle. So let me finish my lap, and then I will ask for the job. And same thing, I expect him to jog off the night. Don't wait for them too long because you're kind of showing them that you're asking for the job. I know I'm going slow, but my circle's kind of small. Walk. Good. Once you get more practiced, you can go and jog left, turn right. But the main thing right now is to get your yearly comfortable with jogging along next to you. And the same rules apply with the walk. They can't jog in front of you, and you certainly don't want to drag. 
drag them along. That's a lot of work. So practice keeping them off of your lead so that they can be confident and learn their job. 